Good afternoon YouTube and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. Today I want to share with you guys uh, a watch by a company that I've reviewed before and I have three watches. This is part of a three part review uh, that I'm going to put up in the next, I'd say, uh, next, i probably run it, I'm probably going to do one a week for the next uh, three weeks as we get closer to Christmas. So uh, if you're in the market for a gift for someone, there's some great deals right now. And this is by one of my favorite watch companies, Aragon Watches. Uh, if you haven't heard of Aragon, they're basically the revamped or renamed Android watch company. And they make some amazing watches at prices that are just absolutely stunning. Uh, there's not really many people or many manufacturers that can touch the quality you get uh, and the looks and designs. I mean, it is quite astounding. So uh, let's start off with the one I want to share with you guys today. And this is a watch I have reviewed in the past. I own uh, three of these watches, one under the Android name two under the Aragon name in their smaller size version. They don't make the 55 millimeter version anymore, but this is called the Millipede. And I opted to go with the, they make this in several different colors, I'll tell you about in just a second, but I opted to go with the orange because orange is just seems to be a great dive watch color. It's supposed to be the best color to use while diving. And I just lately have been kind of turned on to watches with a bright orange face. It just screams dive watch. Now, although this is kind of a different style dive watch, and I wouldn't necessarily uh, consider this a diving instrument because it doesn't have a rotating bezel or anything like that. If you're looking to use, uh, these are, you know, again, what I would consider kind of dive slash fashion watches, you know. Uh, I think Aragon, again, makes amazing product. It's right up there with, uh, with Invicta, and I'm one of their biggest fans. So let's talk a little bit about this watch, show you some close-ups here. And I'm going to show you it on the wrist unsized because... Uh, these are part of samples with the agreement I have with Aragon, and I at least want to show it to you guys and show you what it looks like on the wrist, but I am going to kind of hold it on the wrist, because these ones I'm not going to keep. But here it is here, and this is done in the orange face. Uh, hopefully you can see by the video there is kind of a textured, almost basket weave pattern. It's more of like a zigzag on the center of the face, and then a uh, almost like a circular pattern around the edge. So you have a little bit of texture on the face. I wish, hope you guys can see that by the video. If not, I know you guys will complain and tell me. Uh, you have some loom around the indices, a loom around the numbers on the bezel. Uh, it is a non-rotating bezel. Um, if you're not familiar with the millipede watch, basically, obviously, it has a look of a millipede. Uh, how a millipede has all the different legs, um, or many legs, several legs. Uh, this kind of duplicates what that would look like. Um, there is no other company that makes any watch like this. Uh, this is, in my opinion, one of the best watches that Aragon makes. It's one of their unique watches, hence why I have two of them in the Gemstone Edition. And this one I would love to keep, but, you know, I can't keep every watch. I just had to drop money, get my car fixed. So, uh, and, you know, and I, a watch really has to, I guess, really speak to me for me. I just bought three watches the other day. So, again, I love it, but uh, this one will be going back. So, uh, let's take a little bit more, talk a little bit more about it, and I'm going to show you some more close-ups, okay? So, uh, it is available, as far as color combination, if you don't like the orange, you can get it in a... It is still available in the Millipede uh, Gemstone Edition. Uh, you can get it with several different movements, so I'm not going to go into each movement, but on this particular piece, you can pick this up for about 150 bucks. Link is in the description. Red face, green face, blue face, black face, red face, and it looks like a... appears to be, I think by the picture here, a white face, whitish silver face. Uh, again, guys, I love the Millipede. It's one of my favorite Aragon watch they make. Uh, this one here is a quartz watch. So you're not getting that automatic movement, unfortunately. It's powered by a Swiss Ronda uh, 515.24H quartz movement. Uh, so if you're not familiar with Ronda, it is a Swiss parts movement on this particular one. So it doesn't say Swiss made on the movement, but Ronda is used in a lot of Invicta watches. Uh, this is one of the first ones I've seen, actually, that... Uh, is using the Ronda movement made by Aragon. Aragon traditionally will put an automatic movement in a lot of their watches. They use a lot of Seiko, uh, Seiko NH35, NH36s. Uh, when they keep the cost down a little bit, uh, some of the other ones I have, like the Silver Jet, I have one that's under the Android name that is uh, powered by a, just a regular quartz movement. I'm not sure which one, but at least in this one, they are using a name brand Ronda movement, which I think is pretty cool. Um, non exhibition case back, naturally. Uh, Classic on the uh, on the millipede, you have this grooved uh, CNC machined case, very thick and chunky. Uh, if you don't have a millipede in your collection and you like the big dive style watch, I definitely encourage you to get this. Uh, 11.4 ounces, it's a chunky, heavy watch. 
push button deployment safety clasp. I love that Aragon does this. I mentioned every video you have your your lock and then of course a double deployment push button clasp. I feel like that just holds it way better. I feel like it's much more reliable than an Invicta clasp. Although I've never had any problems with the Invicta, still I still like that. Uh, it is got a K1 crystal. It's something that uh, Aragon uses on pretty much all their watches. 48 millimeter case diameter by 18 millimeters in case thickness. Uh, it is a screw down crown, nine and seven, nine and three quarter inches in band length and 31 millimeters in band width. And you have 1,650 feet of water resistance. Again, man, I mean, if you got to pick one, I love the orange personally. Uh, I've been looking at a lot of watches by like um, Doxa, and Doxa is a great brand too. Doxa is pretty expensive. Um, I definitely wish I could get my hands on one of those. I love that they do the Doxa with um, a lot of their orange. My Aqua Dive is available in orange, which I had that version rather than the blue, but uh, it just, orange just says dive watch. It's just awesome. And uh, this one here, uh, this is a GMT movement, so you do have your uh, GMT you set to a different time or uh, military time, of course, and you have a day of the month indicator there. And hopefully you can see that. And that's really about it for the Aragon watches. You know, they don't put a lot of information on their website. Um, you basically, you know, materials, movement, and that's about it. And I've, I have a lot of Aragon watches in my collection. I think I have at least um, eight Aragons, I think, now. And I've had nothing but great things to say about them. I love the company. I love the brand. And I think they make, this is, again, one of their most unique watches they make. It is one of my favorites. Um, just awesome. I mean, the band is big. It's chunky. It's thick. And there's not a lot. If you look around a lot, even the Invicta watches, the other brands out there, um, I did a review on a couple watches I have by, uh, I forget the name of them, um, ah, I forget, but anyway, it's kind of like an off-brand, uh, not really a micro-brand, but they they kind of cater to a kind of like a skateboarder, uh, monocross kind of, kind of guy, and they sent me a couple of their watches, and when I reviewed them, one thing I was really impressed with is how thick the band is, because it's hard to find a watch with a very wide bracelet where the bracelet really gives a, a real presence on the watch uh, generally bracelets are a lot skinnier this this is a big huge chunky bracelet i know oakley makes some pretty interesting watches but they're very expensive for 150 bucks you really can't find anything quite like this so let's go ahead and throw it on the wrist i'll show you guys what it looks like i'm about five foot seven and a half i weigh about 170 pounds and i have a seven inch wrist so naturally as i always say they all look pretty big on me and this naturally has got a lot of links left. Uh, one thing that's great about this particular watch is that you can move every single link on the watch. Uh, what you want to do is just grab this with some, uh, put some microfiber or polishing rags across over this or whatever you may use just to protect it from scratching because it is all mirror polished. Grab with a set of jewelers, pliers, or whatever pliers you have and uh, you know turn the opposite direction of each screw or hold one. And basically each one of these is a threaded screw, which is awesome. Super flashy watch, definitely one that will get you noticed. Um, you know, I mean, there are so many watches out there that for this price, you, you you just don't get anything quite like this. And, you know, I mean, a lot of people have been picking on movement lately in that brand. And, you know, again, a guy who likes a movement watch may not like this because this is a flashy, big, chunky watch for a guy who's looking to wear something that is flashy and is over the top and unique. It's not a dress watch. It is a chunky, I mean, blinged out, I think blinged out, Fancy looking watch. Uh, just look at the wrist presence on that. I mean, it really is stunning uh, in the mirror polish. And this is the first one I've had in my hands. It's mirror polished uh, in the silver. And I can tell you, this one, I, I really do want to keep this one. Uh, it really is cool. Maybe I will keep it. We'll, we'll see. We'll see, guys. I'll, I'll give you guys an update if I do decide to keep it. But uh, like I said, if you don't have an Aragon Millipede in your collection and you've been watching my videos and you collect Invicta, you owe it to yourself to get one. Uh, I know it's not, you know, the big 55 like they used to make, but the bracelet is so big on it. What I like about it is because the face is a little bit smaller, the case is smaller than it used to be, the real like, pizzazz on this watch, the real, I guess, um, just really noticeable feature is that bracelet. I mean, yeah, it's cool like this, but when your wrist is on the side like that, I mean, it just really pops. I mean, it is beautiful. 
Take it back a little bit so you can see it. That orange just absolutely stunning, just popping right off the wrist. Pretty awesome, guys. All right, folks. Well, there it is. Another Aragon Millipede. I'll put a link in the description for this exact one and for where you can pick this up for the best deals. Sometimes that deal is through the web, the manufacturer's website. Other times it's through eBay. I love eBay because I just feel like you get it quick and a lot of times their prices are untouchable. But I will put both links in the description. Uh, if you guys any, have any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to ask. Let me know what you guys think of this watch. Drop a comment. Remember to click subscribe and the bell to be notified anytime I upload a new video and you'll always uh, have a notification that hey Fat Cat Collections just uploaded a video so check that out make sure you do that and guys as always uh, happy holidays thank you for watching and uh, have a wonderful day take care